Hi, I am Danya E. I completed my PhD from Triple IT Bangalore, class of 2025, under Professor V. Ramasubramanya. My uh, research area is in the domain of automatic speech recognition, where I looked into a special class of machine learning problem known as few shot learning. That is to realize uh, automatic speech recognition system for low resource Indian languages. How would you describe your research to a general audience or someone outside your field? My PhD research is in the area of automatic speech recognition. That is to realize systems which converts speech to text. That is convert what we have spoken to the corresponding text. We are all familiar with Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri. But these all models have been trained with large amount of data. But realizing such systems, that is to acquire so much amount of data and compute resource is not always feasible. There may be applications where acquiring a large amount of data would be very expensive or time consuming. So the question that we asked was, can we realize ASR systems which can be trained using small amount of data but even get the same, um, same comparable performance? So that's when we looked into a special framework called as few short learning. Few short learning algorithms or frameworks are actually inspired from the way human learn. A child is able to identify a new picture seeing few example pictures. In the same way can machine learn new concepts from very few examples. These few examples can be as small as 5, 10 or 20. So we looked into a special or a salient FSL framework known as matching network. Matching network as the name goes tries to match the training and inference condition. We know that during inference, that is our target task is to realize a system which can work under very few examples or under very limited data. So we know this, so we try to mimic this during the training setup by setting up multiple few short tasks. And we call this kind of training as FSL informed training. So we used matching network and try to train multiple models for different Indian languages. That is, we realized FSL informed ASR system for Indic languages under low resource conditions. And we call the system as matching network connectionist temporal classification, MNCTC. So we showed that these models, which are FSL informed pre-trained models, they are actually able to give performance as comparable to the state-of-the-art models which are trained on tens, thousands of hours of data, whereas our models were trained on hundreds of hours of data. So my PhD thesis was a big step in realizing low resource, small scale models which can work under very low data conditions and can be used for any application which, can, which needs or which, need, which can only work under low data conditions. Can you describe your supervisor's role in guiding and shaping your research journey? Working with Professor V. Ramasubramanian was an incredibly rewarding and wonderful experience. I am actually, I consider myself lucky to have been, uh, been able to be guided and mentored by him. Uh, Sir so actually played a very important role in shaping my PhD journey, right from uh, framing the problem statement to every step in my PhD journey. So at every the beginning of every semester, Sir would actually share his timetable where he would allocate weekly slots uh, to meet us. And during these meetings, we would discuss the progress of our PhD, discuss the theory behind all the frameworks that I'm going to implement. So he would even uh, come to the code level, like if we, in case we are stuck at any point of view, he would sit, go through the uh, go through the code, understand what is good, what we have made mistake, how we should validate, so that we can either come out of the problem or find a new path. So all the meetings with him were so enjoyable and so productive that I've learned tremendously from his guidance. He has helped me to understand basic concepts of signal processing, to re understanding and reading a paper, writing my own paper, publishing my work. So thanks to Professor Ram, under his guidance, I felt the PhD journey was really smooth, went on seamlessly, and I really grew as a good researcher. How would you describe the research facilities and overall ecosystem at Triplity Bangalore. Triplity has actually provided me with both the mentorship and infrastructure that a PhD student or a PhD researcher requires. So one of the most 
positive aspect of Triple ITB is like all faculties, all professors are really approachable. They are very warm and welcoming. So initially we have our coursework where we credit courses and take subjects or courses that align with our research. So here I have found the uh, professors were very supportive. They used to actually help us engage into long discussion, clear all our doubts. So and lay a good foundation which is needed for the upcoming research. So the most important thing is the courses are so stru well structured that is not just learning some theory. We actually put into practice what we learn. So we have tutorials, we have hands on coding problems. So we learn what we are doing and that really help us. Secondly is about the compute. So I, my field is into the area of automatic speech recognition and all experiments are very uh, compute and computationally intensive. So we need law, GPU servers to execute the experiments and TripleITB provided me with the servers, uh, what is needed to, the GPU servers, what is needed to do my uh, experiments. And once we are into TripleITB, you, in the network you can download all research papers that you need for your literature survey, for your references. Apart from that, the IT support is also very helpful. They help us to set up the laptop, install all necessary softwares. So indeed, in a nutshell, TripleITB offers you all the supporting systems that you need to do your research smoothly. What advice would you give to students aspiring to pursue a PhD at TripleIT Bangalore? We all know that PhD is a very long-term commitment. It's like running a marathon. So there are ups and downs. So, but with the right support system, we would be definitely able to achieve what we need. So here TripleITB offers such a support system in terms of mentorship, infrastructure, the environment where we can uh, collaborate and learn. So the program, the PhD program is also well structured. So first we have the coursework where we take or credit courses that is useful for our research. Then the next year we have the comprehensive survey. So by then we would have actually framed our problem statement, following which we have the state of the art seminar which we have to give. So that will help us to understand where our research is in the existing uh, state of the art um, and how we can or how our research will fill the gap. So that is also an important milestone. So all these milestones ensure that we are on track. Moreover, this, as always, the professors give very good guidance and support. And they always encourage us to publish in top tier conferences, go present our work in uh, global platforms. And the college also provides us all the financial support that is needed to uh, register for the conference or to publish the journal or travel abroad and present in a uh, global venue. So all the support is, is given by the college. And apart from that, we all have dedicated space. Like we have a room which is actually for MS and PhD. So all of us come there, sit, so that we see each other. So there is not, we don't feel a loneliness or we don't feel lonely. There are people who are around us who are working in different stages of PhD. We can discuss with them. So the actually it, it's good to come to college and work so we will not find it very daunting or intimidating it's a it flows very smoothly so all those who are interested in doing phd and are still thinking do join triple itb you will definitely have a wonderful rewarding experience thank you